Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Uh, so sampailah kita ke topik yang terakhir iaitu so, topik 11 so, accounting for incomplete record and in single entry system. Okey. So pertama kali kita akan lihat uh, apa itu definition for incomplete record. So apa itu? Incomplete record adalah record yang tak lengkap lah. So apa sahaja cara-cara uh, merekod dalam accounting yang tidak mematuhi Uh, kaedah yang sepatutnya iaitu contohnya uh, dengan kaedah double entry system katanya di sini uh, macam biasa dalam accounting mesti balance, mesti ada debit ada kreditnya tapi dalam case incomplete record um, kenapa uh, dia memang tak guna double entry system dan kadang-kadang uh, bukan dia tak guna tapi ke record yang tidak lengkap tu kerana beberapa peristiwa contohnya terbakar hilang, kena curi dan sebagainya So kita panggil record-record uh, yang sebegini kita panggil incomplete record. Okay. Hmm, kenapa? Ah, ya yeah. kita fokus kepada kenapa tadi. Uh, pertama kadang-kadang kenapa adalah um, mungkin uh, sesuatu company itu tak ada uh, accountants yang yang betul-betul betul dia yang betul-betul layak untuk buat account. Jadi dia dia buat suka hati dia kan. Jadi adalah yang tak lengkap contoh kan ataupun double entry so, uh, dan uh, sebenarnya betul juga kadang-kadang kita nak maintain double entry system yang betul mengikut peraturan yang betul kita kena hire accountants yang bertauliah so macam mahal sikit so ada certain, certain company dia tak tak mampu untuk untuk uh, hire accountants so dia buat sendiri konon-konon nak murah tapi hakikatnya akhirnya uh, record dia orang uh, tak complete Okay, um, kadang-kadang, uh, ya kadang-kadang nak fikir ikut peraturan dan sebagainya menggunakan masa yang banyak. Okay, tapi ada juga tadi reason yang saya sebut. Um, um, kadang-kadang tak kadang-kadang tak lengkap ni bukan kerana dia orang tak nak buat, bukan nak murah, tapi kerana hilang. Uh, macam saya sebut tadi, hilang terbakar dan sebagainya. So, apa kesannya uh, sekiranya record dalam uh, accounting record yang tidak mengikut peraturan yang betul, tidak mengikut uh, double entry system yang betul, uh, dia memberi kesan kepada try balance contohnya. Okay, um, try balance tak balance. Uh, bila try balance tak balance, macam ada something wrong. Okay, maklumat-maklumat uh, yang berkaitan dengan asset and liabilities tidak boleh dipercayai dan sukar untuk buat perbandingan. Kerana dia tidak mengikut peraturan yang betul, jadi kamu nak compare dengan company lain macam tak, macam tak kena, okay? And kadang-kadang uh, dalam keadaan uh, accounting yang tidak record yang tidak lengkap, dia memberi peluang untuk berlaku uh, penipuan, berlaku corruption dan um, sebagainya, okay? So ini adalah beberapa efek beberapa kesan sekiranya company itu tidak mengamalkan uh, double entry system yang betul. Okey. So kita um, kita nak concentrate. Okey topik ni kita tak banyak sangat uh, teori dan sebagainya. Kita nak concentrate uh, more focusing on the calculation. Okey. So how do we define how how do we determine our profit or loss for this uh, accounting information yang tidak lengkap. Okey. We have two types of method. Then we have one capital comparison and the second one is analysis method. Okay, so in this video, we will be focusing on how to solve and how to answer the question related to the uh, using the capital comparison method. Tapi um, uh, just for your information, uh, kita menggunakan kaedah kaedah capital comparison dengan kaedah analysis method. How do we choose uh, macam mana kita pilih adalah berdasarkan kepada bentuk soalan. Okay. Contohnya, kalau soalan yang begini simple, begini ringkas, uh, yang tidak ada banyak maklumat, especially tidak ada uh, maklumat duit keluar dan duit masuk, kita terpaksa menggunakan kaedah capital comparison. Okay. So, capital comparison ni, dia, kaedah dia lebih mudah daripada lagi satu. Right. So, uh, now we focus on these questions. Uh, Ahmad, manager of Besaris, Nambahan. Um, the question um, attached below in the description dekat uh, video ni. 
Alright, so kita akan lihat macam mana kita nak selesaikan soalan ni. Okay, given in the question, uh, Encik Ahmad ni, dia maklumat dia tak lengkap. Cuma dia ada beberapa maklumat yang dia ada sekarang ni. Dia ada baki awal asset and liabilities and baki akhir asset and liabilities and sedikit additional information related to the uh, drawings. Okay, so the question us to calculate the net profit or net loss. Okay. How you calculate? Okay, first you have to know this formula. So, this formula macam you nampak familiar sebenarnya. Formula ni datangnya kalau you perasan. Datangnya daripada uh, statement profit or loss yang bahagian on this equity tu. Cuma kita terbalikkan. If you see here, you will start the calculation by ending capital. And you will uh, add the drawings and minus the additional capital and the beginning capital. Okay, see how, alright, how to calculate the ending capital. So, ending capital is ending asset minus ending liabilities. Okay, uh, uh, referring to the question given. So, now we calculate the ending asset first. Okay, you ambil the second column, the, the stated 31st December 2020. Alright, so you ambil asset saja. Okay, kalau in term case ni kita ada account receivables, kita ada inventory, And then kita ada equipment Okay So kita tambah semua tu Kita tambah semua tu Katakan kita dapat nombor 19080 kan Okay Selepas kita tambah tu Sekarang kita kira pula ending and liabilities Okay kita ambil dari maklumat daripada tadi Lah da Dalam kes ni uh, Bank kita adalah liabilities But stated in the question that uh, ada credit tu So that is overdraft Okay, so overdraft meaning that uh, account bank kita, kita terlebih ambil, right? Dan kita terlebih ambil 850, so hutang kita kepada bank. Okay, so we have overdraft here and uh, plus with the accounts payable. So if you plus both and and the loan, don't forget the loan, right? You plus, you plus dua dua, you dapat 7740 tu kan? Okay, so now we have ending assets and ending liabilities. We minus uh, assets to minus liabilities and we will get this number. So, this is the ending capital. Alright. So, now kita sempat tepi ending capital. Now, we start to calculate beginning capital. Same goes the beginning capital formula. Um, we have uh, beginning asset minus the beginning liabilities. So, uh, getting the numbers from the uh, table uh, given the question. So, we start calculating the information we plus the bank and account receivables and inventories and equipments okay so ada dapat situ the total is 14900 okay so uh, after that we calculate the beginning liabilities or uh, in this question we only have accounts payable for the first ending uh, for the beginning uh, liability so we just minus the 5200 Okay, so we minus beginning assets uh, with the beginning liabilities. So we now have a uh, ending capital. Alright, so let that be simpan dulu. So now, um, don't forget we have additional information uh, stated that uh, goods amounting six hundred and cash three thousand three hundred and sixty had been withdrawn by for his own use. Okay. Uh, Owner tu ambil duit 600, eh ambil barang ni harga 600, ambil cash 3360. So, so you total the both uh, drawings. Hmm, okay, so dapat nombor tu. Dan now we have another item here, drawing. Okay, so we start calculating now using the formula given before, right? So we start with ending capital. So we have the number. And then we plus with... So, we minus the beginning capital and we plus drawing. Now, uh, we plus the additional capital kalau ada. Tapi dalam kes ni tak ada ke additional capital. So, kita anggap kosong lah. So, now kita akan dapat net profit. Ah, macam tu lah kita dapat net profit. Senang saja kan? Hmm, so um, as simple as that. That is the statement. Uh, dia macam kalau normally the question when related to the when you have to use the compa uh, the comparison capital comparison method you don't have to prepare the financial statement for the income statement yang complete it's just macam tadilah okay now we go to the uh, the 
Okay, what uh, requested by the question show statement for financial position. Alright. So, kita letak tahun. So, we start with the current asset. So, uh, mari kita dapat nombor-nombor tu. Kita je sambil daripada beginning. Uh, kita ambil daripada ending. Uh, ending information. Okay, so ending uh, and amounts information ada dekat, dekat table yang kita dapat. Okay. So, we have inventory, kita ada current receivable. So, kita tambah lagi. Dah tak ada apa-apa, kita tambah. So, we have this is our current asset. Okay. So, uh, next we will move to the non-current asset. We only have equipment here. So, we total both. So, that is our total assets. Alright, now uh, we go to the next uh, part. is uh, current liabilities. So, we start with bank overdraft. 850 and then apa lagi kita ada so kita ada accounts payable 4090 alright so um, uh, that is non-current liabilities uh, now we have a non-current liabilities uh, 2500 and then okay so habis lah uh, this is our total liabilities so and then uh, we plus with the owner's equity we start with the beginning capital we already calculated the beginning capital so uh, plus net profit we just got just now uh, 5,900 and then balik draw yang kita ada tadi ok and then we have ending capital so finish so we to you total liabilities and owner's equity you should get the same number uh, as a uh, uh, assets alright so we have here uh, the same number uh, balance current asset and sorry the total asset and the total current liabilities and owner's equity okay so uh, itu saja itu saja uh, for the comparison uh, capital method so we will see how we calculate the next uh, for the next uh, method in the next video assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera